Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty and our road to 1 million coin. So we are in the first day of summer, I believe on year three. <laughs> it's a slightly foggy summer morning. I am, uh, I'm actually kind of encumbered. I was trying to grab the last of the stone that was still in my uh, house and bring it over here to the barn. That way it wasn't in the house anymore. It was over here where it needed to be. Uh, let's go to inventory and stone. Can I just drop that? Yeah, drop. There we go. Good. Drag it over into here and drop that right on the ground. Perfect. Of course, you got to be different and roll away from the crowd. <laughs> uh, I went out and gathered some more logs and stuff. Um, before season change last night of course i could only gather until midnight because midnight was season change so today we've got uh we should have the flax cabbage onion carrot we should be able to collect everything yes Money, 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 money. <laughs> so uh, the trees that I cut down. Oh, I left a stump over there. But anyway, I had cut down some more trees around these crops. I didn't want to go back too far because it was really dark and I didn't know how close I was to the boar spawn. I didn't want to attract any attention. But I, what I'm thinking is that we are going to continue taking these crops kind of this direction. I could kind of keep this uh, this swath opening here and maybe bring another uh, farm shed, you know, kind of down this direction or something, maybe a little bit farther. That way we've got some good coverage. I don't know what kind of coverage these, uh, these farm sheds have. I don't know how far they go. I don't even know if it tells us. Let me see. Can we... Look at this. Does it tell us how far? No. That's just going to be items. Okay. Let's get out of that. Let's go into knowledge. I saw that we had some kind of a warning up there, but let's... Um, distraction, fields. Let's see. Nope. That's just telling you how to do it. Did not see anything there about farm shed. Anything? No. Okay. Uh, inhabitants, inventory map. Fast travel, flirting, fishing, health, air, houses. Crop management. No. If anybody knows, uh, leave a comment if you know the distance that the farm shed and the crops need to be within each other. Because I know the farm shed kind of needs to be close, but I don't know. I don't particularly have a distance yet. Uh, not that we have a real way to measure distance other than uh, probably some of the best ways to measure distance is to open your map, zoom in. And then place a marker like where you're wanting to measure from. So like, uh, can we play? There we go. Corner of that. So you can see it's 14 meters to the corner. One meter. It's actually going behind us. We're kind of not. Okay. So roughly, it's a very rough estimate, but you can see that the blue marker at the top of the screen is at zero meters, and we are roughly standing at the very corner of this um, flax field. We know that this flax field is 16 deep. It's 16 by 16 field. So if we go to this other end and stand on, the, on another corner, we can see that it's 32 meters. So I don't know that I have seen or read a distance range from the farm shed to where they will not farm. Now, it used to be old school. It didn't matter how far away 
they were from the barn. This is before the f farm shed was introduced in the game. The barn used to be the only building for farming. But it used to be that there was no distance limit for the barn for a long time. Like you could have a farm across the, the map and they would somebody would eventually go over there and do something with it. Um, but then they started introducing a distance. Uh, you would notice it more like with your orchards and stuff. Look at you guys. Man, you guys are on the ball. And what do we got? We got somebody already fertilizing. Good. I don't know how much fertilizer we got. I know we don't have a whole lot. Uh, matter of fact, I could probably just see that in uh, here. No. Where is, yeah, management. Yeah, go to the building, go to storages, go to resource storage, click the little chest, and this is going to show us what we have in our storage. All right, so we only have 44 fertilizer. We do not have enough fertilizer to fertilize all of the fields. I may have to go buy some today, but we do have some cabbage that will turn into rot next season. Uh, and we don't have any rot in the food storage. I'm almost positive. We do not have any rot in the food storage. Yeah, we do not have any rot in the food storage. Okay. So, but anyway, what I was saying is I don't have a distance, a known distance from the farm shed to the farthest crop location that they will work. So if anybody has a distance, uh, leave me a comment uh, down in the description, or excuse me, leave me a comment in the comment section below the video um, to kind of let me know if you've even tested that. I have not, unfortunately. But it would be good to know. So what I'm thinking about doing, because I don't know, I don't have that distance, uh, is literally doing just what I've done here. I'll place a farm shed uh, in between plots like this, and then we'll, you know, I'm assuming we could probably go, I don't know, two, two farm plots. So I'm calling this the 16 by 16 of farm plot. Uh, I'm assuming we could probably go two farm plots and be safe. So I could probably put another field here, equivalent to 16 by 16. And then I can kind of fill this little cut, funky cut area here with some fields. Uh, just f with like uh, carrot and onion or cabbage or whatever. And then we could do, because what I'm wanting to do is do another field like this of wheat. That way we can get flax and wheat uh each year and then I can ex start expanding and doing more flax and wheat fields uh, out this direction now I'd also probably build more houses so if we go we'll, we'll keep a swath opening here maybe between these plots I don't know and then put some houses on the other side and then we can start extending back a little bit maybe because I don't want to get, I don't want to start building way out there and not have any houses. Because they don't actually start farming until they reach the farm plot. Doing a fabulous job. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we've got their tools for the flax and everything. We are going to let them go and see how far they get. They're doing pretty doggone good on this. Because I've only got what, three? I got three farmers out here. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty good. So, for the summer, they'll definitely be able to extract all of this. I'm going to try and get some, some more fertilizer. Matter of fact, we should probably go do that. Um, so we can get that going. Let's see what we got as far as arrows that we can make. And let's see, we got... 58 carrot seeds already. I'm not going to worry about selling any seeds right now, I don't think. So we got 982 sticks and 863 feathers. I want to build some houses, so I'm going to have to go out stick hunting for sure. Uh, let's grab these 863 feathers and we'll grab some 860-ish uh, sticks. 
And then I need to craft. Let's see if I can strafe over here. Do, do, do. And then I need to craft some of these arrows or the bolts, wooden bolts. So we can sell those and we can go to town and we can get some fertilizer. We can go make the rounds. I don't know how much fertilizer we're going to need, but I'd rather have enough. I'd have rather have more than not enough. Uh, let's see. I'm clicking that. I'm clicking that. Hit R. We're going to craft this 86 times. So there we go. Let's go through this. Uh, let me craft these 80, uh, these 860 bolts real quick. Uh, and then I'm going to check that production um, warning at the top there, the little anvil and hammer. I'm assuming it's probably going to be the barn uh, because he doesn't have any rot to turn into fertilizer. So I may turn him over and have him start uh, threshing, uh, uh, not wheat, but flax. Because they're going to start gathering that pretty soon. Alrighty. Let's see. Did we finish all of that? Hang on. Inventory. I wasn't watching. Yeah, 860. There they are. Boom. Got them. All right. We got like four sticks left. I'll go put those down in here. New building unlocked. Workshop two. Good. I don't know that we necessarily need the workshop workshop two right now. We don't even have anybody in there. Uh, let's see. And I believe that we can craft all the same stuff in workshop one. I am in the wrong storage. <laughs> uh, I believe we can still craft all the same stuff in workshop one that we can in workshop two. But having workshop two unlocked unlocks more schematics that's what i was trying to think of uh let's drop the fur let's drop the feathers let's drop the skulls could possibly use skulls for decoration let's do the bags uh sticks and we're going to sell all of those we're going to keep the 48 hammer uh we're going to hold on to the strange strange figurines because I believe we still got to go talk to Sambor for his quest line about Fenina not or basically trying to scam him out of his stuff. Uh, but we're not doing that today. That'll be a different day. Let's put this meat in here. I'd gathered meat last night right before season change out of the uh, trap. Uh, what do we got here? Stews. Man, we do not have hardly any food. Let's grab. Let's. I don't know that I can make all the um, stuff. Let's see. I think I need a few more of those. Then let's go see about making some meat and gravy. I need plates for the meat and gravy. How many plates do we have? Scroll to the bottom, go to wooden plate. We have 13. Uh, let's see how many I can make. I may have to make some more plates because um, I'd like to make all we can. Um, ba -doo -doo -doo. Go here to other. We can make all 13. All right, let me craft up these 13 meat and gravy real quick. All righty, and with the power of editing, we are done. <laughs> okay, so I created 13. What am I left with? I'm still left with quite a few onions and eight roasted meats. All right, I'd like to make at least eight more then. Uh, let's go grab some logs and make some more plates. Uh, five logs. We'll just do that. Come over here to the workbench. Tell you what, having this a level one instead of a level two is going to make this a whole lot easier because I can literally just run right through the wall here. Once that we upgrade the work uh, shop to a, a level two, it encloses all of this. So that'll be a door. So I think I'm going to leave this a one, to be honest. Unless we have to have it for something else. It's like if there's an additional... Workbench. Uh, matter of fact, I think the level two may have 
pottery station, maybe? Eh. <laughs> Can't remember. Let's see. Um, plate. There it is, right there. Uh, let's just go ahead. It's going to be... This is going to give us 25 plates. And... Yeah, let's just do... We'll do three of the logs. That'll give us 15 more plates. That way we've got a few extras. Because as we... Um, start getting more villagers, I'm going to need some more plates and, and bowls and stuff. Anyway, matter of fact, let's go ahead and make the other two bowls. That way we've got some. I don't remember what the conditions were for the plates and the bowls that we've been using so far, but the plate and bowl conditions do go down over use. Uh, let's see. I'm going to drop those 10 bowls in there for right now. Let's go finish making up these last eight meat and gravy. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, there we go. Power of editing. That only took a second for you. It took about two minutes for me. Uh, let's see. Probably not even two minutes. All right, so we got 18 onion left out of that. We've got 21 meat and gravy. That's going to be good. What is our demand? Food demand. 360. Okay, it's 360 a day. Let's do this. I'm pulling out my calculator. We are going to do this. That way we can see that. Uh... I was pulling out my calculator. Here it is. So we got 360 a day. We're going to go times three for the season. Or you can, hang on. No, no, no. Let's just 360. And then let's go times 12. Because we have three, three day seasons and there's four seasons. So we'll just do 12 days at 360 right now. Now, as we add villagers, that's that's going to go up. That's going to give us 4,320. Now, if we divide 4,320 by the 30 food that the meat and gravy offers, so we're going to divide that by 30, that means that we need 144 meat and gravy to last us the year. Now, each season, the condition of the plate of food is going to drop by roughly 12 to 13 percent as long as it's in the food storage um so that's not a that's not bad at all now for the season because most people are probably only going to make food for the season so if we do 360 uh times three just for the season equals 1080 and then we're going to divide that 1080 by 30 for the for the food value on the meat and gravy uh, 36 plates of meat and gravy to last us the season. So we are nowhere close <laughs> to doing that, but that's good to know. All right, let me, oh, I didn't even put the meat and gravy in there. Let's, uh, let's put all of this meat and gravy in there. Yeah, I want to drop it all in there. And then the one, and then that one. I love the fact that they've added this drag and drop feature now. That does make things a little bit easier. Somebody's probably yelled at me or something in the comments um, that I could do that, and I haven't been doing that. Now, uh, let's see. What do we got? We got regular meat. Let's do some stew. So what do we got here? I said we had 21. We needed 36 meat and gravy. So the stew gives less food, so we probably need, can't need to kind of up the stew a little bit if we're going to make stew, but we've got a lot of meat. I've got a lot of carrots. and got a lot of onion. got a lot of stuff. Let's drop the onion back in there. Um, so let's do this. I believe the stew... I'm going to look to see what the stew requires. It seems like it might be two and two on the meat and stew. Yeah, two and two right there in the center of the screen. Two carrot, two regular meat, and a bowl. All right, let's go get the bowls. I think I'm just going to make up however many bowls we have. Yeah, we'll just do all of that. Yeah, I want them all. Do, do, do. Yep, I want them all. Boop. Da, 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 da,
Da, da, da, da. I mean, this is kind of nice, but not really. If I grab the whole stack, I kind of want the whole stack. Uh, da -da, let's go do this. Let's go grab. See how many bowls I got at the end. We got 10, 12, 14, 24 bowls. We're just going to make all 24 bowls. So then we're going to need 48. 48 carrots. 40. Eight carrots, and then we're going to need 48 meat. But I want to grab these two first because they're the most, yeah, they're the most, uh, the condition has dropped the most. Okay, so now we need 46 meat. 20, 30, 50, 46, right there. Boop. Then we can head over here. And we're going to make this up into the stew. Hit R and E to select it all. And then we can click or hit F. And I'm going to craft up these 24 stew. And I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty, folks. There we go. We are done making the, the uh, stew. Let's go drop those in there. While I was making that, I see that we have some kind of a farm issue that's popped up. Probably the fact that they are out of fertilizer all right let's drop that too yep uh let's see f e f this is actually quicker f e f f e f there we go that's much quicker just because i'm dropping the whole thing in there rather than dragging and dropping and dragging the line over and stuff i do like the drag and drop it's kind of nice um but still uh f e f on the keyboard is is faster to transfer the whole stack so now we should have plenty of food in there for them. Uh, let me check water. So basically buckets and water skins here. We got one bucket. Uh, how about water skins? No water skins. All right, well, let's go fill this one bucket then. Drop that in there. Because they're, they're getting water from the food as well. Uh, let's see. Bucket of water. Fill that up. Close that. Let's go drop this in here. All right, food and water is taken care of now. Yeah, see there, that works nice if it's just one item. Uh, and the t t uh, management, that's what I was looking for. And we are, yeah, see, it's telling me right there he doesn't have something. So let's go to farming. Materials. So the barn doesn't have any materials to make fertilizer. No materials for fertilizer. Um, and I don't have anything to make fertilizer. Can I, man, I really wish I could drag that. Come on, get it going. Do, 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 do. I do like how it speeds up. It just doesn't speed up fast enough. Uh, now we should be able to do the flax seed. Does he have any flax yet? Yes, he does. All right, let's 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 take this to 100%. He can work on that until I get him some stuff to, uh, to do the fertilizer. There we go. He'll probably go through that pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. Then the farm shed. No resources. That's going to be... Is it going to tell me what's no resources? Yeah, it's going to be the fertilizer. Because they're not going to plant anything that's not within season to plant. Uh, however, I do believe they could plant cabbage. So it's all down to fertilizer. That's what that is. All right. So let's go to town. Let's call Miss Donkey. Let's run to town real quick. See about selling our uh, bolts. Where'd she go? Oh, she's here. Um... See about selling our... I know, Miss Donkey. we got to run to town. Uh, see about selling our bolts and see about picking up some uh, fertilizer and or manure. Because we could turn that manure into fertilizer as well. So let me head to Gustovia real quick.
Alrighty, Gustovia. Let's hop off Miss Donkey. Let's go find the farmer. Right here. Treating you. It's all treating me great. Uh, Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy... Let's see, he's got dumb, he's got fertilizer, manure. We're going to buy the manure first. 84, I'm going to... Okay, good. That didn't encumber me. What do I got left? I got, what, f uh, 30... About 34 kilograms I can carry on myself. Uh, fertilizer, that's going to be 78. I'm going to have to put some of that on Miss Donkey. I could probably put all of that on Miss Donkey, actually. Um, but I think we're going to buy that as well. Now that's, that's not going to be enough fertilizer to do all of the fields. And I granted we had 40 fertilizer. So I've got, uh, five of those small, is it five small fields? I'm pretty sure it is. They're, they're two by 15 deep. Um, so that's going to be 30 each. So that's 150 fertilizer there. And then I've got that 16 by 16 crop with just 256 fertilizer, I do believe. So I, this will probably be enough to fertilize that big field. Uh, not this, not this 156, everything that I'm picking up today. So we're still going to have to go and get more fertilizer and manure. So we can at least fertilize everything and then our next big crop planting and everything will have plenty of fertilizer and stuff once we start cycling through the cabbage. And I want to make another big cabbage field as well, or a lot of little cabbage fields. We're going to fix all of that, hopefully this season and next season, um, fix all of that. All right, let's buy this. It's going to be 78. I'm going to be like really encumbered. I don't think there's anything else that I can buy to make fertilizer no but i can goodbye goodbye uh come here miss donkey <whistles> yep come on girl where are you oh dang it can't come on there you go <laughs> let's let's open up your saddle bags and let's see can i give you i can't give you 78 i can give you 60 Right, 65. Let's give you 65 for our weight. 65. Boom. That's her max. Okay. That still gives me a little bit of room. And then I can go over here and talk to uh, Sobamir because he should also have manure. And does, is he going to have fertilizer too? He may just have manure. Yeah, he just has manure. So that'll give us 40 more fertilizer. Bam. There we go. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. You too. Uh, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't sell anything hey, to either friends. of these guys. <laughs> uh, let's go and find these. And that way we can sell. Since we bought stuff from him, we can actually make more money off of him, hopefully. He must not have had much money on him to begin with, because I only got 1200 from him. Uh, let's go back here and find Edwin again. I need to get that marker off, that little marker from earlier. Let's, uh, let's get that off the screen. And Mr. Edwin, I'm back. Hello. I'm sorry, I forgot to sell you Whatever some stuff. You, you didn't know it, but you needed wooden bolts. Look at that. He took 2,600 coins he's going to give us. So those wooden bolts turned into fertilizer. Uh, we got 72 bolts left. Uh, you know what? Can I combine those? That would be nice if I could, but I can't. Um, I'm not going to worry about selling those last 72. Let's just get back to town. I do want to put... I want to stack those together. So we'll highlight the ones that are equipped. F, F. There we go. That'll be fine. Nope. Actually get on, Miss Donkey. There we go. All right, so that's good. And we're going to head back to our village so I can drop this stuff off. I can tell him to start producing 
fertilizer. Or actually, I should. I'll drop the fertilizer in the resource storage. And then because I've got him set to do flax, I can. I could probably just go over um, and make the manure myself, maybe. Because we got three people that are going to be placing manure or placing fertilizer. And I have a feeling they're going to go through that 156 pretty quick. All right, let's just get over here and place this stuff in the resource storage real quick. All right, let's hop off Miss Donkey. Over here, we're going to do fertilizer. There, we'll drop that 26 there. Let me get the stuff out of her. I know I probably could have just opened it while I was standing there. Um, fertilizer. There we go. Do a little strafing action to move quicker. And we can drop that in there. So now they're going to have 156 fertilizer. Somebody may have already picked some up if they're working. Uh, and I can go turn this manure into fertilizer. Yeah, everybody just quit working. Uh, let's actually see what they've kind of gotten done today. Uh, let's see, that requires fertilizer. They've already started fertilizing this. That's been fertilized. They're about a third of the way through the flax field. They got all the cabbage done. They got, yeah, they got all the cabbage done and they're about a third of the way through the flax field. So I can get this, they can get that fertilizer going, finish the flax field, and potentially get, what am I planting this season? I don't even remember what I'm planting. Hang on, let me get my, uh, let me get my little chart up here. Uh, looks like cabbage is the only thing that can actually go in the ground in the summer, so they'll probably put cabbage back in the ground. So that'll be good. Okay, so let me do this here. Fertilizer, we're going to hit R. It's going to be 82 times that we're going to do this. <laughs> so let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. That way, when they get up tomorrow, they're going to have as much fertilizer as I can have for them. Um, and they can actually get more fertilizer in the ground. Because the main thing is going to be that they fertilize the crops that are doing the cabbage. And we'll have cabbage twice a year. Because it'll plant in the spring, and then it will harvest in the summer, and then it can also be planted again in the summer and harvested in the autumn. So we'll, we'll have two crops a year of cabbage, regardless of how many little fields we have. But I'm probably going to start adding more cabbage fields. The carrot and onion, I think, are probably fine for now. I think we have enough ca uh, carrot and onion for meals that are going to be fine. And then we can add another, potentially another large field of wheat. We could add three more houses and another uh, farm shed and try and bring some more people in. That way we can kind of start expanding our farming franchise, so to say. I would love to have some of these, the woodshed and the hunting lodge would be great to have the level twos. Because that means I could put more people in each of those. And then all I would have to do is build houses to house those people. All right, so that gave us 82 fertilizer. So there we go. So now there's 236 or 238 fertilizer here. So that means that we've got to get more fertilizer. Let's open up our management screen. Let's go to the field. Uh, can we see field one is, I'm assuming that's unfertilized. 
Okay. That color doesn't look like any of those colors, but I'm assuming that that is this. Okay, so that's unsown. This one's fertilized. So we've got we got two here that are not fertilized. So that's 60 fertilizer. That one's fertilized, but I think that's going to be the onion crop. Uh, no, carrot. That's the carrot crop. This one appears to be partially fertilized. That is our onion crop. Okay. So that's good. But nothing's planted in this one, right? Nothing's planted. Okay, that's good. That's good. So while nothing is planted, I think I'm going to change these around. And this, that's our flax field. Yeah, they're still working on that. Okay. Uh, field three, I think needs to be, um, what am I trying to think of? Cabbage. And then I'll make four and five, uh, the carrot and onion because they haven't planted anything yet. Yeah, see? Unplowed, unsown. Yeah, they're not planted yet. All right, so let me go in and change three. Yeah, see that three is carrots. Let's make three cabbage. That way I can, because I, I planted that, that one carrot field out of, out of place and it's bugging me. All right, so then we can escape out of that. That's going to be cabbage. Then this is what? That's onion. Okay, we can leave that onion. Won't even mess with that. This one here is going to be cabbage. Yeah, we're going to change this to uh, carrot. And then we can do that. So we get the same amount of crops. I just changed their order. So then all through these first three, uh, one, two, and three are going to be cabbage. And then we got onion and carrot. And then that big one's going to be the flax. And then I can start adding more field. Excuse me. I can start adding more fields uh, after. Now, let's go to inventory. What do I have in my inventory? Anything? No, I don't need anything at all. So, I do need to go and get more fertilizer and stuff. I'm probably going to have to do that tomorrow. The sun is going down. What time is it? Yeah. Uh, I, it's going to be up time. If I get there, I may not be able to actually buy anything because I was thinking about going to Denica um, because that there's a seed vendor there and they would have fertilizer and manure. Um, I don't know if there, I don't think there's another vendor for like animals. I don't think there is in Denica. I know there is in Baranica because you got like the, the little vendor that's out there with the sheep and stuff. But there's no crop vendor because they don't have... Well, they do have crops over there, but there's not a crop vendor in Baranica. I don't think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So probably in the next episode, I'll have to go to Denica and stuff to get some more fertilizer. We're going to buy fertilizer this season just to have it. Because it's definitely an investment. Because if we don't get those crops in the ground, we don't make any money anyway. So. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate everybody joining me today. I think we're going to call this an episode. I'm turning the wrong way and everything. <laughs> but we are end of day one for uh, summer of year three. And... I'd like to give a special thanks to my members. You should be able to see them on the screen now. If you haven't hit the like button yet, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you could uh, consider subscribing, if you haven't, uh, that would be also greatly appreciated. You folks took care. Uh, Tongue-tied. You folks take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy hunting.